Hello, my name is Ron, and today I'm going to talk to you about fear. See, this is a very important topic for anyone, whether you're, you know, doing very well in your life or you're not doing so well right now. See, fear is an illusion. We've all heard it, you know, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. But when you're afraid, it feels all too real. And fear, you know, can paralyze you, you know turn your legs to jelly and just make you not want to move because of what could happen. But you see, what could happen is not what is happening. And that's what you really have to understand is that fear very much is a lie. Ego is based on fear. It attempts to predict the future based on past events. But just because, you know, you went through A, B in the past doesn't mean you're going to go through A, B in the future. Use every possibility, especially if you put a conscious plant into motion, that you're going to experience something very different in the future than you ever did in the past. You see, the best way to handle fear is just to do it. Because the ego's job is to keep you alive. And because it's trying to keep you alive, it's kicking in the survival instinct, which is one of the most powerful instincts we have. And it makes us want to run away, it makes us want to fight, it makes us want to like do whatever it takes to survive. That's why it's one of those most powerful instincts. And uh, so you have to understand what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a primordial survival mechanism that's there to keep you from getting eaten by some wild animal in the past. But nowadays, it's really don't have to think about that kind of stuff. So it just turns to other things. Instead of like a wild animal, it's an emotional trauma. So because you've been hurt in the past, you're not willing to put yourself out there again to be, because you might get hurt again. And it'll drum up all sorts of movies, you know, reasons uh, that'll make you like, like, yeah, you're right. I definitely should not do that. I shouldn't take the chance. And because you don't take the chance, you never get anywhere. And if you're watching this video, it's because, you know, fear is with you right now and it's being a problem, which it is for most of us. You see, the best way to get rid of fear is just to do what you're afraid of. Now, think about in the past when you've been afraid of certain things. Maybe you're afraid to lose a certain person. Maybe you're afraid that if you said some certain things, you know, your friends wouldn't like you anymore. Maybe you're afraid how people would judge you. Now, sometimes these events come up anyway. And after they came up, you know, after that initial shocker, you know, look back on it. Were you really that upset now that it already happened? Was it really such a life and death struggle because, you know, your friends at that time don't like you or don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. So many times, especially when you're younger, like high school and whatnot, you know, you like you think you're going to be friends forever. And right after high school, you know, maybe a couple weeks, maybe even instantly, you know, you start noticing that uh, the drift. And you're like, oh, no, my friends, you know, what do I do? What do I, you know, what do I do if, you know, we don't hang out anymore? You know, a couple months passes, maybe even a year, and most of those people are gone. You know, your life tracks have changed, and you're really, you know, things are changing, and it changes constant everywhere. And look back at it now, it's like, does it really matter? Did you really, was it really so devastating that that happened? Doubtful. I mean, you're still alive, despite what, you know, fear told you back then. And when, you know, you had a breakup, the first breakup is usually the hardest, but, you know, you're still alive, you're not dead, but it keeps running this game around you over and over and over again. If it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't pick, you know, say relationships, for instance, it'll pick something else, and it always picks something. So, the best way I've found to deal with fear in general is to do what you're afraid of. You know, one of the things I've been afraid of is heights. So, a long time ago, the opportunity came up for me to jump off a cliff. And oh boy, was I shaking like a leaf when I looked over that cliff. And But then I was like, do I give in to fear now and regret it later? So I put the rope around me and started down, rappelling down the cliff. And I'm really glad that I did it. Now, at the moment, I was shaking like a leaf and so afraid, but I didn't die. 
um, I didn't get really hurt either. I just had a blast, really, and I'd do it again. You see, never in any point did I ever act on, you know, was I afraid of something and acted on it, you know, do what I'm afraid of and regret it. Never. Not one time can I ever look back and say, damn, I really wish that I had given in to fear. It never happens. Never. You know, sometimes I make stupid decisions. Sometimes I fail. Sometimes I do stuff that makes me stand there thinking, what was I thinking? But I don't regret it. Because the only regret that I've ever had is listening to fear. And that's for most people. How many times... You know, do you hear the the people on their deathbeds in the stories? They're like, "What do you re- you know What do you regret most in life?" And they're like, "Not living a life true to myself," and that is a fear of judgment from society, a fear of not being accepted because you're not one of the crowd. If we were all cookie cutter versions of each other, there would be nothing interesting about any one of us. Nothing. Because we're all the same. Without diversity, there's nothing to look at. It's all the same. So, my invite, inv- invitation to you today is to do what you're afraid of. If you're afraid to be rejected, go get rejected. Do it intentionally. And go into it with the mindset that you're going to do this because it's for you. It's what's good for you. Not for them. For you. If you're afraid of spending money, go spend some money. If you're afraid of uh, heights like I was, you know, go find a repelling crew. You know, go find some sort of event where you can go repelling off a cliff face. If you're afraid of the ocean, then get on a boat. Do it. Because after you do it, you're going to not only realize that how much your, your fear wasn't even real... But you're also going to be proud of yourself because you had the courage to push through where so many others won't do it. If you're the person that gets up and walks forward when everyone is you know, hovering in fear behind you, you know, that's really uh, a great feeling that says, you know, look, I am brave. I have the courage. And if there was no fear, there would be no bravery. Because bravery encourages acting in the face of fear, not in the absence of it. And you can be proud of that. So when your time comes, or my time comes, and we're laying on our beds, you know, about to pass, we won't be saying, I really wish that I hadn't given into the fear. Instead, we're going to be like, I lived a life true to myself. I lived a life proud. And I lived a life that, any, that I could be proud that I had lived it. No matter what anyone says, because there are going to be plenty of people that disagree with you because they don't have the courage to do what you're willing to do. And that's the truth. So if you got to walk it alone to be the person you want to be, walk it alone. That's what a leader is. Goes first. They'll come up behind you. They'll, they'll follow the path that you, you, you blaze. But they can't do it themselves. They, they'll refuse to do it themselves. But you can. I can. We can. All we got to do is push. Push away the fear. Push away the ego. Stop listening to that chatter in our head saying, What if this? What if that? What if this? What if I live a life that I regret? What if up to this one moment, I regret everything I've ever done? Or I look back and be like, I'm really, you know, ashamed of being so much of a coward for not doing these things. But up to this moment is over. It's this moment onward that's going to count. So if you decide in this moment to act, to push through, to act on the fear, go be the person you want to be then you know what, all of those previous experiences that you may be ashamed of were just learning lessons to get you to this point, and they were worth it. But not if you don't live a life true to yourself, they weren't worth anything. So, I hope you enjoy this message, and I hope it helps someone out there. And go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Share a story about like how you overcame fear, and if that hasn't happened yet, you know, think about how you can create a story to overcome fear. 
because we all can. We're all afraid of something. So have a wonderful day and catch you on the next video.